Thanks so much, Ryan. Well, now that maps for Ohio state representatives and senators are in place, what do the people who have to deal with the maps think about them? Today, I talked with two candidates and a man who runs an elections board about what they think about the end result and what it took to get here. I talked today with Poland Township trustee Eric Angaro, who said it was solely because of the way the new 59th district was drawn that he decided to run as an independent for state representative. The 59th, in light blue, meanders from Youngstown through Poland, southern Mahoning County, and into northwestern Columbiana County. Seeing the fact that they rearranged it, that Youngstown was put with Poland uh, in the rest of the 59th district, and I saw that it was an open seat. I, mean, I think they're very fair maps. I think they're good. Randy Law is running as a Republican in the 65th district. It's the area in light green, which is all of Trumbull County except the cities, along with two thirds of Ashtabula County. Law was prepared to run in May. Now it'll be August 2nd. The only negative thing I would say is it drags the primary campaign out, which lengthens the time your volunteers are doing anything, a little bit of uncertainty because even right now people that are involved are going, are you sure? It's a big relief to know that's actually going to be August 2nd now. Tom McCabe is director of the Mahoning County Board of Elections, where just a month ago his team put on 2022's first primary election. McCabe's almost prepared for the second primary. Two poll locations are going to have to be moved for August. But outside of that, we've already been in contact with our poll workers and our polling locations, so we think we're going to have a pretty smooth election, but low turnout. It drags things out, both voting-wise, uh, expense-wise, all those things you weren't planning to maybe have to do that are now on the table and you have to do them. And again, that uncertainty and getting folks out to vote on August 2nd is going to be the most difficult thing. The August 2nd election will also include elections for central committee members for Ohio's Republican and Democratic parties.